Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from sunny Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be the holidays and the narcissist. All right, I think you're going to like this one. So please, if you like the content, subscribe. Guys, the holidays and the narcissist. Now, <clears throat> I just want to preface this by saying I am 11 months out of my uh, discard of the narcissistic relationship going on one year, which will be October 29th. Point being is that I had to go through the holidays all by myself. Many of you know my story. I'm not going to get into it here, but the holidays could be a very difficult time for each and every one of us. Whether you're in a narcissistic relationship, you were in one, or you're not. Maybe you're in a healthy relationship and you're just watching this video to educate yourself. And if you are, God bless you. Point being is that the holidays can be very confusing and trying times. Although the holidays are supposed to be fun, loving, energetic, spend time with family, friends, and everything, and that's what they're meant to be. Uh, for those of you, um, it doesn't matter who you are, it can be difficult times, especially if you're alone and maybe you lost family, friends, things like that. Getting on track with this one, the holidays are a prime time for the narcissist to pop out. Why? Because the narcissist, number one, they need supply, no more so than during the holiday season. So keep in mind, like in the States, there's Halloween coming up, then Thanksgiving, then um, uh, Christmas, New Year's, and there's, I'm sure there are many other holidays I'm, I'm forgetting, so excuse me if I didn't mention all the holidays. Uh, but the point is, those are like some of the bigger ones that I know of. Uh, but with this, what, what does the holiday do? It draws attention away from the narcissist. You see, the narcissist needs, needs to be the center of attention all the time, as we know. And the holidays, now they, they can enjoy a little bit of the holidays, let's be real, but if it's not about them, it doesn't count. That's how the narcissist thinks. So what I'm trying to explain to you is pay attention during the holidays, uh, the holiday season coming up. And it starts with Halloween. Maybe even there are holidays I don't even know about these days. But the narcissist may rear their ugly head and pop in, hoover you, check in on you. I don't know what they're going to do. But just keep your guard up because you know how the sob story goes with the narcissist. Once, the, let, let's just rewind real quick. They love bomb you, deval, discard, rinse, wash, repeat. That's what they do. But maybe this year, maybe they're going to come at you with a sob story. Oh, you know, it, things have been so difficult and I have no money right now and the holidays are coming up and, and you know, so-and-so needs this, blah, blah. All these kind of sob stories. This is probably how they got you in the, in the first place, got you uh, hooked onto them, sunk their dirty fangs into you. Just, this is a heads up for you. It's kind of like a PSA for the holiday season. Pardon me, pay attention because the narcissist will try anything possible to get you back if they are missing supply. If you were the grade A three and a half pound lobster tail, like I know you were, there's a very high likelihood that this could happen, especially during the holiday season. Now, keep in mind, I'm no expert on that, the holiday season, because um, I'm only a year out, but I know what I went through the last year with the discard. What I mean by that is, um, even for myself, because I just came from my walk, and I was thinking, wow, it's been almost a year, and I just, I reminisced, and I was like, I've actually gone through every major holiday, including Halloween, which used to be my favorite holiday. And I did, and I didn't realize it till right now. And then I'm thinking, wow, the Hoover that, the, the Hoovers that, that could happen and the, the strangeness of the narcissist. So it's, it's almost a year out for me. I'm just keeping my spider sense going and paying attention, and keeping my boundaries high. And I'm trying to let you guys know, do the same thing too. Because you never know what the narcissist is capable of. They, they may tell you, let's be real. The narcissist isn't gonna tell you anything that's truth or positive, and if their new supply is working out right now, they're certainly not gonna be contacting you. But my point is, let's be real again, that you probably, the, the narcissist's new supply, if they have one, and this is for anybody watching, maybe their new supply isn't working out, maybe they wised up, they called it off, they moved on. And the narcissist, keep in mind, it's the holiday times. That's when people like to be around each other, family, friends, all that kind of stuff. This is just, again, it's to let you know don't put your guard down for a minute. So if you get a strange text, a phone call, um, all these kind of things, by the way, the narcissist should be blocked as we talk about all the time. But just a heads up for you, pay attention. Because the narcissist, as time goes by, and the more education I'm getting on this exact topic firsthand, and of course, educating myself by watching videos and things, the more time that goes by, the, the likely, the can't say the higher likelihood of a Hoover, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying like, remember, in the narcissist, tiny little brain they just live in the here and now and they think that maybe you've forgotten once you were discarded if it's let's say it's a year later in my case for example maybe they're thinking oh yeah it's over with maybe they forgot about it and they've had a year to get new supply and the new supply didn't work out 
And now, oh, okay, maybe Andrew's, and maybe Andrew's around again. You get my point? And by the way, if you're watching this, never gonna happen. So, bye. Don't even think about it. Getting back on track. These are just ideas that are hitting me because from all my education and all the insight that I'm getting on this exact part, a lot of these Hoovers tend to happen around the holiday season, beginning just about now, and uh, about a year, from what I understand, about a year or so out uh, is when the Hoovers can start to happen. So it's just preparation for you to understand that, pay attention, keep your guard up. Um, you know, you made it this far. You survived the worst part, which is number one, the whole relationship. But number two, the ending, which probably ended in a discard. Um, or if you ended it yourself, God bless you. But you've made it this far, so let's not fall back into the trap of the narcissistic relationship. Let's keep our boundaries high, keep moving forward, be educated, and let's have a safe holiday season. Meaning, just don't think that you're, you're, you're Superman or Superwoman or Superperson, that you can handle it if you get hoovered or if, if something happens like during the holiday season. Maintain your boundaries, be smart, protect yourself. Guys, I'm gonna end this video, it's a quick one, because I am about to go to my pool and do a little afternoon meditation and relax. So I hope you like the video. I love doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew, I will talk to you soon. Maintain those boundaries, guys. I love you all, namaste.